Hi, welcome back to the Cosmic Classroom. We'll talk now about the difference between mass and weight. To understand the difference between mass and weight, first you need to be familiar with the universal law of gravitation. All right. So if you remember, if you remember uh, when we talked about gravity, we, thought, we said that two objects attract each other gravitationally. That attraction depends on the product of the masses of two objects and it is inversely proportional to the distance between those two objects. So let's study a special case, a special case in which one of those masses is the Earth, is one big object, the Earth, all right? So if one of these objects is the Earth, then I can plug in uh, the mass of the Earth here for mass 1, for m1. So G is a, is a constant, it's a small number, that's why we don't attract each other too much because it's a very small number, 10 to the minus 11. So we can compute the force of gravity and we'll see that, so we substitute the mass of the Earth, the radius of the Earth here is square, which is the distance that any object is from the center of the Earth. And we then can compute all this number here together and, and call it something new, we call it little g. So the force of gravity on the surface of the Earth is little g times the mass of the object. The product here of all these constants is little g, which is about 10 meters per second square, or 10 meters per second per second, a change in velocity per unit of time. So that's the acceleration of gravity on the surface of the Earth, little g is only 10 meters per second square on the surface of the Earth for objects that are on the surface of the Earth. We can uh, venture and compute the acceleration in, in other planets, but on the surface of the Earth, it's, it's 9.8 or about 10 meters per second square. So it's very important to understand the difference between big G, which is the gravitational constant. That's a universal number. You can use big G to compute the acceleration of gravity anywhere in the entire universe, including on Earth. Now, if you are lazy and you know that the object is on the surface of the Earth, you might want to do a little shortcut and instead of using big G, just using little g. So little g is the, gravi the acceleration of gravity on the surface of the Earth. We can do the same thing for other objects. So we can compute the acceleration of gravity on the surface of the moon, for example. So that would be the universal constant, always the universal constant, times the mass of the moon divided by the radius of the moon square. So on the moon, the acceleration of gravity is 1.6 meters per second square. So it's, there's much less acceleration than on the surface of the Earth. That's why the astronauts can jump so much higher and come down, you know, almost in slow motion because the acceleration is not as strong. Now, so the difference between weight and mass is that weight is a force. Weight is the product of the mass times the acceleration wherever you are. So the weight on Earth is the product of your mass times the acceleration. So for example, if you are unhappy, there you go, if you are unhappy with your weight on the surface of the Earth, you can do a few things. If you want to lose some weight, you can go to the moon. And because the acceleration of gravity on the surface of the moon is smaller, your weight will be smaller. Your pants still will not fit, but the weight will be smaller, all right? And your mass is the same. If, on the other hand, you're needing to add some meat to your bones and you want to gain some weight, you can go to the sun, all right? And then you'll be happy there. Again, nothing to do with your pants, but you'll be heavier there. So mass is something that doesn't change. Mass is, people sometimes they say it's the amount of stuff. The weight depends, the weight is a force. It depends on how much, uh, on where you are. All right. Um, and that's it. I hope now you know the difference between math and weight. I'll see you next time.